Welcome to Your Mac Helper's video training. This video training is going to be on uh, iCal for the iPad, the calendar app. Uh, very, very basic app. Uh, this will be a short one, but very uh, awesome app, a usable app. So just to start, I'm going to open it up. You're going to see I've got this in uh, the week view. So we're just seeing the calendar, just like any calendar we would see. We've got your time down the left side, your days through the top. Uh, you're going to notice I've got a lot of different events in here, and they're all different colors. So, you know, different uh, colors are going to indicate different types of events. They could be, you know, a work schedule. They could be a family schedule. Events that are just up top right under the day, these indicate that they're all day versus these ones which have a specific time frame to them. So down here below, you can see today. If you tap the today button, it's going to take you to today. Um, but you can see that right here. Right here, we can switch through the different weeks of the year and take a look and then again if we hit today it's going to bring us back if we want to change the view that we're looking at this in we can change it from right up here so we can go up to the day view which is really nice you can see all your different events down the left side you can still see the full calendar you can still go to different days within the the month and see what you've got going on you can turn the pages just like this is a a planner or a, a you know a day timer or something you can go with the month view, so you can see your entire month. Year view, so you can see all the different years, and you can change all the way up to 2025. And list view, which is just going to give you kind of like a hybrid of the day view and then everything that you've got going on uh, upcoming. I typically like the week view, um, but again, you're, you're calling what you want to do. The last couple buttons we've got in here, you can see invitations. So if you've got a uh, shared calendar, you can okay the events that have been created by someone you're sharing a calendar with over here you can see all of your calendars you can show them all uh, you can edit and add some and delete some uh, and you can see all the different calendars that you use on here lastly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to create an event to add to your calendar so let's say today I wanted to add an event down here at the bottom right we've got a plus button the plus button is gonna add an event we can title this event whatever we want, we'll call it a test event, you can add a location, you can put the start and the ending time right here, you can have this repeat if you want it to repeat every day, every week, every month, every year, you can invite other people to this event, you can set alerts for this event, a day ahead of time, five minutes ahead of time, you can have a secondary alert, you can change which calendar this goes on, again if it's a work calendar or a family calendar, uh, you can say if you're busy or not busy. You can also add some notes, some links, some other things down in the notes section. So that's one way to add an event. You can see that event right here. If we also wanted to add a, an event, another way to do it is just to push and hold and then move this event, event around. And we've got the same options uh, to create that event just from pushing and holding. Pushing and holding creates that event. Then you can move them around. Let's say, for example, let's say I had... Uh, uh, this event right over here. Let's you know maybe find a different one. this event right here. Let's say I you know I, this event's actually supposed to be on a Friday, uh, or it was supposed to be on Wednesday. I can just pick it up, move it to a different time, a different day, and we can move it around uh, and to the different time where uh, we should have had it. So uh, that is really it for the calendar. Not too much else to it. Uh, hopefully this helps you get ready to go and use your calendar and start transitioning into the digital calendar. If you're using iCloud, this is going to stay synced to your iPhone or iPod Touch as well as your computer and iCloud.com.